What up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. And, um, everybody's talking about Sergio Martinez. And it's funny how he wants to fight two guys who are welterweights, and he's a middleweight. And, you know, sure that Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns and, you know, Sure, those guys moved up to middleweight, but both of those guys and guys who fought in that area, a lot of those guys started off at welterweight. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather didn't even start off as welterweights in their careers. They started off uh, below lightweight in in their pro careers, and now you want them to move all the way up to welterweight? So it's funny how when Floyd Mayweather fought Juan Manuel Marquez, he was fighting a smaller guy, but... Now people want to see Sergio Martinez fight a Pacquiao or a Mayweather, but it's all right for for Martinez to do it. That's a double standard. That's not right. The fight's never going to happen. Floyd is not going up to 160. He can he can make 154, but then Martinez would have to meet him at 154. And you know if, if Floyd wins, then people will say, well he he drained Marquez. I mean Martinez. And then the same with Pacquiao. Pacquiao's not going up to 164. So, I'm going to tell y'all who Sergio Martinez should fight. Drop the Floyd Mayweather and the Manny Pacquiao stuff because I don't think he's going to fight either one of them. Not because they're scared, but I mean, he's two weight classes ahead. Of, he's, you know, he, he's a two weight classes ahead of those guys. And like I said, those guys did not start off their careers at welterweight. So, that's really asking a lot for them to, you know, they've already put on weight to just to get... You know, they've already put on weight over their careers just to get to welterweight. So you're asking them to put on even more weight and go meet him at 160? Or you're asking him, because he's too big, to drain himself to get down to 154? Um, And Martinez is walking around weight. It's probably 168 because he weighed 168, I believe, on on the unofficial card when he fought Paul Williams. And, you know, we, we know that on the unofficial weight, people... You know, usually redrain them. You know, people usually rehydrate, and that's their walking around weight. So I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all who Sergio Martinez should fight, and it's, it's a more realistic fight. And this fight, this fight would be good. This fight would be something worth buying. Pay per view. Andre Ward. Why is everybody talking about? You know, he, he should fight Mayweather and these guys. Why don't he fight Andre Ward? As soon as Andre Ward gets done with Super Six which is coming up real soon, the last round, the championship bout of Super 6, why don't Sergio Martinez fight him? I mean, he already weighed 168 versus Paul Williams anyway. That 168 wouldn't even be nothing for him to make. That's probably his That's probably his normal walking around weight anyway. Why don't he fight, you know, Andre Ward? You know, it's funny how that Sergio Martinez is this great boxer, but he doesn't fight anybody. Granted, there is nobody for him to fight, but the facts remain the same. He ain't fighting nobody. You know, if Mayweather or Pacquiao or anybody else don't fight nobody, well, they get they get criticized for it. But Martinez is supposed to be the greatest. So, you know, before he can talk about going fighting a couple of guys that's smaller than him, why don't he go fight a guy that fights in a division just above him? Why don't he go fight Andre Ward? And let's see if, if Sergio Mar- Martinez is the real deal. Because... When he fought Paul Williams, Paul Williams wasn't nothing. And we saw that with Paul Williams' uh, last fight versus uh, Lara. So I'm, I'm tired of hearing about Sergio Martinez this and Sergio Martinez that. He, he's getting a pass when other guys don't get the same pass. This guy's getting a pass only because of Mayweather and Pacquiao. They want to see Mayweather and Pacquiao fight this guy so they, so they, so they hype up Sergio Martinez to be this great boxer. I'm not saying that he's not good. I mean, he, he's good, but they hyping him up to be better than he is just because they want to see him beat Mayweather or Pacquiao. What he need to do is, you know, fight his next fight, wait for Andre Ward to get done and go fight Andre Ward. That if Sergio Martinez versus Andre Ward, that fight would be a great fight. It would be a great fight on pay-per-view would sell would sell would sell a lot of tickets. I guarantee it. Andre Ward's a rising star. Sergio Martinez is 
a, bit, a seasoned veteran, why not? You know, I mean, the, the Andre Ward, somebody that's undefeated. You know, he he's, he's going to beat his next opponent. So what do you guys think about that? Sergio Martinez versus Andre Ward. Isn't that who he should fight? Isn't that, isn't that more realistic of a fight? That's a fight that, that, that can happen easily. What do you guys think? I'm out.